Good morning, Warren Peacock here. Uh, today we can see that the Australian dollar is the biggest gainer, has a score of 6 now on the hourly from 0 yesterday. Uh, I think it's a short term buying pressure, maybe a bit of a short squeeze going on. So I'm still looking for shorts on the Aussie dollar. Uh, the daily chart is still weak and the 4 hourly chart is still weak. So uh, the short term buying pressure, not really of interest to go long just yet. The Euro was the biggest loser yesterday, losing 5 points. Uh, overall, so on the hourly chart, lost four points. On the four hourly chart, lost a point. So it certainly looks like Euro weakness is back on the cards. So I'd be looking to short the Euro. The uh, overall scores show Euro US dollar still the weakest chart uh, overall and on the dailies, which has been for a while now. The four hourly chart shows the Canadian dollar and the Swiss franc are the two stronger currencies with the Aussie dollar weakest. And then we've got that volatility on the hourly chart. We've got the Australian dollar strongest and the Swiss franc weakest. Uh, we're going to have a look at the charts. And we can see we'll just start with the euro dollar there. Uh, it has got a little double top. Maybe wait for the neckline to break for a short there uh, on the daily. Or if you go to the smaller time frames, uh, you might see some uh, shorter term shorts coming through. Uh, the hourly crossed down already. So I'd be looking to short the euro dollar. Uh, just a little bit concerning that it's in this consolidation. Could just come down, form another double bottom here, and then we have ourselves a little rectangle going on. And then we'd have to wait for that to break. So any any trade at this point uh, does assume a little bit of risk. The Australian dollar CAD. And we can see here the trend is strongly down. A little bit of a short squeeze going on. If it does break above resistance uh, at that point there, uh, then I think we'll probably see it going back to the 89 or something like that. If we zoom out a little bit, we can see that that resistance uh, is old support. So it's quite an important area here. Uh, I'm more inclined to, to short it than, than go long on it. Uh, the Canadian dollar is sort of middle of the road when it comes to the strength side. So we'll have to see whether uh, this chart actually does give us a, a short term sell. The Australian dollar Swiss franc, uh, again the trend is down, it has uh, bounced quite nicely coming back towards the 89, uh, again we'll have to see whether it actually continues higher or we get ourselves a nice little short signal uh, somewhere up here at the 89 or maybe on a, a break of that interim support level over here, uh, we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. And then we've got the Australian dollar strength coming through against the Swiss franc, so the four hourly and the one hourly charts are at odds with each other. Uh, my opinion is pretty simple that the four hour chart will win. Uh, unless that trend changes on the four hourly, I would be looking to short Aussie dollar Swiss franc. Uh, it's, it's a little bit interesting at the moment, uh, but no real trades coming through just yet. And you know, with anything that's uh, longer term like this in currencies, we have to be patient and wait for the signals. Thank you, and I'll chat again tomorrow.